Hello, wonderful one, and welcome. In this tutorial, you're going to learn how to solve this beautiful math Olympiad equation. And the interesting part is that we are only going to concentrate on the real value of x. It's going to be interesting. And don't forget to tell us how it helps you in the comments. Let me teach you what to do. So to answer this question, we just quickly begin it with solution. Now, this is what we are giving. We can repeat that. Okay. So what do we do? You observe that this basis can be expressed in multiples of two. Okay. We know too well that four is two times two, which is two to the power of two. And eight is two times two times two, which is two to the power of three. So for this eight, we can quickly rewrite it as 2 to the power of 3 into x plus for this 4 we have 2 to the power of 2 into the power of x is equal to 36. Interesting. Now remember quickly that for every a to the power of m to the power of n, it is the same as a to the power of mn, which is the same as a to the power of m raised to power of m. We are going to apply this here. So in that case, we can switch the power, okay? You observe that the powers were switched. So we can switch it to have two to the power of, this we come in, so we have x to the third power, then plus we can switch this, so we have two to the power of x is raised to power of two is equal to 36. We've not changed anything. Simplifying more, we are going to have, let two to the power of x be equal to a variable y since these two are the same we've not changed anything so in that case we can have it as this will be replaced with y so we have y cubed plus this will be replaced with y so we have y squared is equal to 36. now what do you think we should do this is tricky at this point now this is your cubic polynomial equation because you observe that the highest power of y is 3. But let me teach you the easiest thing to do. Now, what we do here is we can rewrite this 36 to be, we can have it as 3 to the third power plus 3 to the second power. Why did I choose this? I know to where that 3 to the third power is 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, which is 27. And 3 to the second power is 3 multiplied 2 times, which will give me 9. And when you add these two, it gives you 36. And I also chose this because I have y cubed and I also have y squared. So I didn't choose wrongly. Now, what do you do with this? Keep engaging. So we're going to have y cubed plus y squared is equal to replace this with 3 cubed plus 3 squared. Now, what do you think we should do next? We are going to move these values to the left side. So in that case, we have y cubed plus y squared. This is positive, okay? Subtract. So we're going to subtract to remove it. This one is positive. You also subtract to remove it. I hope you are with me. Then everything will be equal to zero. Now, collect like pairs. We are going to have y cubed minus 3 cubed plus y squared minus 3 squared is equal to 0. Interesting. Now, what do you think we should do? We are going to solve this together and these two together. Now, to do that, see what we have. For this, remember, for every a cubed minus b cubed, it is a minus b into a squared plus b squared plus ab. Interesting. Now, this is going to guide us to simplify this. For this, for every a squared minus b squared, it is a plus b into a minus b. Now, this is going to guide us to simplify and solve. So, we're going to have for this, obeying what we have stated here, we are going to have y minus 3 into, we are going to have y squared plus this will be 3 squared, okay, plus multiply this two, you have 3 multiplied by y, okay, that is for this. Then we have plus 
for this, apply this difference of two squares. In that case, we have y plus 3 into y minus 3. And everything should be equal to 0. Now, what did you observe? You observed that at this part, y minus 3 is repeated. And at this part, y minus 3 is also repeated. So we can quickly factor it out. To do that, we have y minus 3, factor it out, open a boot bracket. We are going to have when this when this y minus 3 divides this, we are going to be left with y squared plus 3 squared is 3 times 3, which will give us 9, and this will give us 3y. Interesting. Then we have, bring down your plus sign. When this y minus 3 divides these two, you'll be left with y plus 3. Interesting. And everything is equal to, so we can adjust this, everything is equal to 0. Now, simplify more, we have y minus 3 into, this is y squared, okay? So we have 3y plus y, we give us 4y. Then 9 at 3, we give us 12. And everything is equal to 0. Now remember, from when you have a, b to be equal to 0, is it that a is 0 or b is equal to 0? So at this point, you are going to have y minus 3 to be equal to 0, or that y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. Interesting. Now to get this, we are going to have add 3 to both sides because it's subtracting. And when you do that, y will give us add this, it gives you 3. So the value of y here is 3. Now for this part, what we have there is so we can just do this to separate this. Now we have y squared plus 4y plus 12 is equal to 0. Now you observe that for this, this has led you to quadratic equation. So we are going to quickly check the discriminant to see if this gives us a real value or a complex. Now what do we do? We are going to have d is equal to square root of b squared minus 4ac, okay? This shows you whether it's real or complex. Now, remember that your a is the coefficient of y squared, your b is the coefficient of y, which is 4, and your c is the constant, which is 12. Now, quickly plug this into this discriminant formula. We are going to have d is equal to square root of 4 squared minus 4 multiplies our a is 1 and our c is 12. Now this is giving us d is equal to square root of 4 squared is 4 times 4, which will give us 16. And when you multiply this, it gives you negative 48. Our d, when you subtract this, it gives you square root of negative 32. And you see this number is less than 0. And because it's less than zero, it's going to give us a complex solution, which we don't want. In that case, we are going to reject this solution, okay? And we are to make use of y being three. But don't be quick, too quick to conclude. The question is find x. Now to find x, let's recall what we said earlier. And don't forget to like this video and also engage more to see the interesting parts of this tutorial. To do that, we have recall that 2 to the power of x is equal to y. Okay, so let's use this y value. We are going to have 2 to the power of x is equal to our y is 3. Now, at this point, to find x, you are going to use the log of both sides. So take log of both sides. So we're going to have log of 2 to the power of x is equal to log of 3. Remember quickly, for every log of a to the power of x, the x power multiplies the log. So it gives you x log a. This is going to help us to simplify this. And to do that, we are going to have x log 2 is equal to log of 3. To get x, since it's multiplying, divide both sides by log 2. Divide this by log 2. This cancels. So we're going to have x is equal to log of 3 divided by log of 2. 
quickly remember for every log of A divided by log of B, it is the same as log of A base B. This is your change of base root. So apply it here to simplify it. We are going to have X is equal to log of 3, then base 2. So this is the simplified value of X. Now we're going to do a check. Put this value of X at the left side. Will it be equal to 36? Now to check, we are going to have, this is 8, and this is our X. So we have log of 3 base 2 plus this is 4. We have 4 to the power of log of 3 base 2. Will this be equal to 36? Now remember we also said at the beginning that 8 is 2 to the power of 3 is raised to power of log of 3 base 2. Interesting. Plus 4. This 4 is the same as 2 to the power of 2 is raised to power of log of 3 base 2. Now also remember we said these powers we multiply. So it is the same as 2 to the power of 3 log 3 base 2 plus this will be 2 to the power of 2. This will multiply so we have 2 log 3 base 2. Now to simplify further, remember this rule of logarithm which says that for every a to the power of log of b base a, the base of this log and this base are the same. It is equal to this number b. So we are going to apply this rule to simplify this. But when you look at this, you observe that there is 3 as the coefficient of this log. So what do you do? Remember quickly that the coefficient of the log becomes the power of the next number. So we can easily remove this 3 and it becomes the power of this number. So in that case, we are going to have 2 to the power of log of 3 to the power of 3 base 2. Okay, now for this we have plus 2 to the power of this 2 also becomes the power. So we have log of 3 to the power of 2 base 2. Interesting. Now, this is now of this form, so we can apply this rule. In applying it, we now see that we are going to have 3 cubed for simplifying this. So we have 3 cubed plus, for this, the two are the same. So we're going to have 3 squared. Interesting. And remember, we also said 3 to the power of 3 is 3 multiplied 3 times to give us what? 27. And 3 to the power of 2 is 3 multiplied 2 times to give us 9. And when you add these 2, it gives you back 36. And that is what we have at the right side of the equation. And I hope this really helps you a lot. Don't forget to tell us how much. Share this so that others will learn with you. And if you are still new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notification button for updates from us. Thank you for always engaging. I'll see you in our next class. Bye-bye.